Hey guys, so this might be a completely boring video that never sees the light of day, but I'm very excited and so I thought I would film this whilst I have the stuff here, just in case it ends up being a worthwhile video. I am currently trying to reduce the amount of single-use plastics I use, the amount of stuff that I need to recycle, and just generally reduce the amount of waste that I produce. I'm currently looking into trying to get something to do with my food waste because I live in a flat, I'm not allowed to have my own compost bin and blah blah blah. So I've decided to try and start buying more of my fruit and vegetables from like farmers markets and like independent companies and that kind of thing to see if I can either take my own boxes with me or if they've got like paper bags instead of having so much stuff coming in plastic that can't be recycled or can be recycled but isn't optimal. There is a small area near me that's called Bitten. It's very easy for me to get to. It's kind of like a small, it's called Bitten Village, but it's not really a village, it's very well connected to the rest of the city. But every Wednesday they have a market, and so I thought today, as it is a Wednesday and I'm not at uni and I don't have anything to do until this evening, I would go and check out the market and see what I could get there. And then also my mum reminded me that they have like a greengrocer's there so I went and had a look in there and there's an Iceland there which had some really good deals on, on Linda McCartney stuff and there's also now a pound stretcher there which was a very exciting experience for me, absolutely loved it, we'll definitely be going back again. So I thought I would show you the sheer amount of stuff that I managed to get for the small amount of money that I spent compared to what I usually spend. So from the fruit and veg stand at the market I managed to get these two oranges. These are called navel oranges and fun fact these are the only kinds of oranges that I enjoy eating and these were 40p each which is so good considering how big they are. I got three of these peppers which are like these. They're like super sweet, really delicious. I hardly ever buy these because they're usually so expensive but three for a pound is really good especially because i am usually paying 49p for a regular bell pepper i got so many cherry tomatoes this bag is so full and they look so delicious they smell great and all of these were a pound so it's like so good um and i'm usually paying like 89p for half as many as this and these were again a pound. I got six red apples for £1.50 I think um, which is kind of expensive but my local shop is a little and the apples are either super expensive or cheap and really tiny whereas these are quite sensibly sized. This might be the thing I'm most excited about of what I got but I got blueberries. This isn't very many but I got this many blueberries for a pound, which I'm very, very excited about. And then from the small green grocers, I got these three carrots and these four giant potatoes for like £1.70. As I said, Iceland have currently got a deal on Linda McCartney stuff in the frozen section. Frustratingly, my local Iceland has been redone and the vegetarian section is smaller than it used to be, but they had the Linda McCartney mozzarella burgers on sale for a pound which is so good and I got very excited about this so I got three boxes of the sausages because they were a pound each so in Lidl I think I'm paying 139 per box so I've saved like essentially 40p per box on these which is definitely worth having to carry them home on the bus and look a little bit crazy because of that. Frustratingly, the only cucumbers I could find were in plastic packaging still, but this was only 50p, which I think is a little bit more expensive than Lidl, but I didn't want to have to go out shopping again, so I just bought it. I got some reduced fat coleslaw, which is in plastic packaging, and I do know that I could make my own coleslaw, and this was like 79p, I think. I got some giant strawberries from Iceland, and these were like, 169 and considering how massive they are and the strawberries are out of season I think that's a really good price and I got this box that's got four cans of Monster Energy Ultra which is the zero calorie one for I think it was £3.50 so I usually pay between a pound and £1.50 per can 
So say I am getting it at the lowest price, this is still saving me money. The box is recyclable, the cans are recyclable, all good. Okay, and now the very exciting thing that I wasn't expecting to happen because I didn't know that it was there, there is now a pound stretches in Bitten, which I've heard great things about online. I've seen like people talking about getting really good deals on them, but as far as I'm aware, there's not another one that's close to me. And so now that this one's there, I'm very excited. <laughs> It was so cheap. All of these things that I got from Pound Stretches cost me a total of five pound, which I just think is incredible. I'm so impressed. I'm definitely gonna be going back. I got two tins of butter beans. I'm trying to eat more beans. I am looking at going and getting them dried from my local whole food store, but at the moment, I just haven't had the time. So I got these two tins of butter beans and these were 29p each and considering they're delicious and you can use them to bulk out a lot of meals that's just so good I got three tiny bottles of iron brew and these were like 29p each I think they were stupidly cheap these are plastic which isn't great but at least they are recyclable and I can use these for other things as well I've seen the whole earth drinks in my local Whole Foods and in a couple of other places like Carl and Barrett and stuff but they've always been quite expensive and so I didn't want to try them but then I found these in Pound Stretcher and they were 39p each so I bought one of the Organic Sparkling Cola and of the Organic Sparkling Lemonade I'm very excited to try those out I got two of these smaller cans of Monster these are 335ml whereas the other ones I bought the 500ml and I did actually buy these ones before I picked up the full pack but me and my sister have a very busy day coming up so I thought these would help us get through that and these were 50p each which is really good and then because I have a little bit of an iced tea problem and in most situations when I've been looking at the labels of iced teas most of them have been vegetarian um, if not vegan I didn't have the time to check the labels on these so I really hope that they, they are safe but these are the DD iced teas so I've got bergamot, lemon and peach and these were 49p each. Obviously I understand that for everyone it's not feasible to try and go vegetarian or reduce the amount of plastic that you're consuming, but if you can do it and save money, then why not? Because everything here that I've just shown you cost me less than 32 pound. So obviously I'm gonna need to get some more greens because I eat a lot of them and I do have some other foods that are in the cupboards and that I get really cheaply from other places but I definitely say it's worth shopping around and this is going to be most of my food for at least the next week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did let me know because then maybe I will do more shopping adventure videos. I am going to take a photo of all of the beautiful food that I've just bought to post on Twitter and then put it away and then see if this video is worth anything. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you soon.